Okay, when reading a clock, you have 12 hours around the clock right here, and the clock will go around, the hands will go around twice. Actually, I should say the small hand will go around twice to make 24 hours. So that's kind of tricky. It's a little bit tricky. So we have 12 hours, and we go basically a.m. and then p.m., right? And then we have... So let's go times, oh, I ran out of times 2, right? So equals 24 hours. So now, doing this, here's 1 o'clock. So we just say 1 o'clock, just like this. Now, if it is in the morning, we say a.m. That would be when you're asleep, right? If it is in the afternoon... We're going to say p.m. Okay, 1 o'clock a.m. or 1 o'clock p.m. So let's say this one's during the day. And this is when you're sleeping, right? All right, so 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, all the way around to 12 o'clock. In between each one, we have the minutes, right? So this one, this hand right here, tells us the hour. So currently it's saying that it's part it's somewhere on the sixth hour right here according to this clock and this one right here is the minutes now there are 60 of these little dashes we can say 60 minutes in each hour So that means this little, this hand's going to go tick, 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 tick all the way around. In one hour, it's going to hit all 60 of these things like this. And then it's going to do that 12 times. And then it's going to do it another 12 times, right? Okay, so watching this, this is the minutes. So if I were to look at this, this would be one minute. This would be two minutes. This would be three, four, five and so on, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way back to 60 minutes, right? So 60 minutes, and then what we can do is, because we memorize these, we can say, well, this is 5 minutes right here. This is the 5-minute mark. This is the 10-minute mark. This is the 15-minute mark. So this clock right here says that it's 6, 15. So it's the 6th hour. And 15 minutes. It could be a.m. or it could be p.m. We don't know right now. Okay. So looking at this, we just look at the remember big hand tells us the first number, and or I'm sorry, the the short hand tells us the first number, and the long hand tells us the minutes. Now it could have another hand just to confuse things. Let's put it right about here. Sometimes you'll see this one. And this hand is really skinny most of the time, and it's moving fast. This hand would be seconds if you had a clock that had seconds on it. And so it would have 60 seconds in one minute. So it's really moving around. So that's pretty much it. It's really, you're trying to find, most of the time, hardly anybody says it's 6.15 and you know, 30 seconds. Now, if you're working in science, you might use this one here. But most of the time, we use just this. We use the hour and the minutes. So we can look at this. This is 6.15, 6.20, okay, 6.25. And all I'm doing is I'm counting by fives because there are five little marks in each one. 6.30, 6.35, okay. 40, and so on, 45, 50, 55, and 60. So we're just, it's just kind of cutting it into increments. That's all it's doing.